You know that feeling when a thousand things go wrong and suddenly you're overwhelmed? Maybe it's that casual comment that stings, a slight snub, or the repeated frustrations of daily life. Though they might seem minor or insignificant, these small wounds can add up over time and have a profound impact on our well being. Therapist Dr. Margaret Krasnopol calls these micro traumas. They are small, often unnoticed events that can cause emotional pain over time. Micro traumas are personal and everyone processes them differently, says psychiatrist Dr. Claire Harrigan. When someone hurts us in small ways, we often don't realize it or feel its full impact consciously. Some shrug them off while others feel them deeply. While each instance might not seem like a big deal, the cumulative effect can lead to many emotional and psychological difficulties. It's kind of like death by a thousand cuts. Ignoring micro traumas can lead to problems like chronic stress, burnout, anxiety, feeling unmotivated, low self-esteem, and even depression when left unchecked. It's important to recognize and address these subtle hurts to prevent long-term emotional damage. Ready to find out if you're experiencing micro traumas? Take this quiz to see if these small wounds might be affecting you and learn how to heal from them. Number one, do you often feel undervalued or ignored at work, school, or social settings? A, yes, frequently. B, sometimes, but not often. C, rarely. Or D, never. Number two, how often do people, especially family or close ones, make dismissive or hurtful comments towards you? A, very often. B, sometimes. C, rarely. Or D, never. Number three, do you notice yourself feeling isolated or excluded from group activities or social gatherings? A, yes, I often feel left out. B, occasionally, but I try to stay positive. C, rarely, but it happens. Or D, no, I feel included most of the time. Number four, how often do you experience unmet expectations, like unacknowledged efforts or broken promises? A, very often. B, sometimes. C, rarely. Or D, never. Number five, have you experienced subtle discriminatory comments or actions based on your race, gender, or other identity aspects? A, yes, frequently. B, occasionally. C, rarely. Or D, never. Number six, do you live or work in an environment where you face constant criticism, even about minor things? A, yes, constantly. B, sometimes. C, rarely. Or D, never. And number seven, do you feel emotionally unsupported by your loved ones? A, yes, often. B, sometimes. C, rarely, or D, never. Results, mostly A's. You might be experiencing micro traumas. Ugh, oh no. You seem to be encountering several micro traumas in your daily life. Micro traumas are personal and everyone processes them differently. Some shrug them off while others feel them deeply. While each instance might not seem like a big deal, the cumulative effect can lead to many emotional and psychological difficulties. The first step to healing from microtraumas is recognizing that these small wounds matter. So give yourself permission to feel and acknowledge the impact of these experiences. Don't invalidate your own emotions. If something hurts, it's real and deserves attention. Take proactive steps to address your micro traumas, such as practicing more self-compassion, establishing boundaries, and engaging in regular self-care. 
Mindfulness practices can also enhance your ability to cope with stress and bounce back. If needed, consult a therapist or additional support. They can provide tools and techniques to help you process these experiences and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Mostly bees. Some signs of microtraumas. You have experienced microtraumas, though not as frequently. Being aware of these small wounds is the first step to healing. Don't brush off your feelings. Pay attention to how they affect you and take proactive steps to care for your emotional health. Find ways to express your emotions, such as writing, journaling, or meditating. And prioritize activities that help you relax and recharge. Having a safe space to express your feelings is crucial. So stay connected and talk to your loved ones to help you process your feelings and release any pent up stress. Mostly C's, minimal signs of microtraumas. While you too have experienced some microtraumas, they don't seem to have a significant impact on your emotional health. Periodically check in with yourself though to ensure you're addressing any minor emotional wounds before they accumulate. Focus on maintaining a positive outlook and acknowledging the good things in your life. Mostly Ds, unlikely to be experiencing micro traumas. You seem to have a healthy emotional environment with minimal micro traumas. Keep up the good work in maintaining your well being and supporting a positive mental state. Encourage positivity in your environment and support those around you in recognizing and addressing their own micro traumas. Stay mindful of your emotional health and continue practices that have helped you maintain this balance. Healing from micro traumas is an ongoing process, but by recognizing and addressing these small wounds, you empower yourself to live a healthier, happier life. Micro traumas may be small, but your resilience and capacity for healing are immense. So take a deep breath, acknowledge your journey, and give yourself the care you deserve. You've got this. So how do you feel about your results? Share your insights in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that empowers you to live your best life. We also have a quiz on how people view your personality or a video about hidden signs your past trauma is still hurting you. Thanks for watching.